In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Which would you rather have? Physical health or spiritual health? Which would you rather have? I can only imagine what's going through some of our minds. Which is, well, Father, I really want physical health, but I guess spiritual health is good too. Or how about you give me physical health now, and then later on in life, when I'm getting older, I'll take spiritual health. But it's a question that we must contemplate. Because in today's gospel reading, there was a man who did not have physical health. The paralytic could not walk. And so four of his, it doesn't say in the gospel, could be friends, family members, <clears throat> not only took him to a place where they could find this man named Jesus, but they took him with the firm belief and faith that this man who they called Jesus, who was from Nazareth, could heal him. And when there was no room inside the house in which Jesus was, they climbed up to the roof with the sick man, opened the roof, and lowered him down. Jesus, seeing their faith and their ambition that they wanted with all their hearts that this man to be healed, what was his response? Clearly you want physical health, so it's granted to you. He didn't say that. He said, your sins are forgiven. Everyone was confused. Can you imagine these four men bringing the paralytic, wanting him to be physically healed, they come see this man, Jesus, and he says, your sins are forgiven. What does that have to do with anything? And so the, the scribes and the, her, the Pharisees who were there questioned him and said, who is this man think he is? Only God can forgive sins. And Christ does this to make everyone realize, number one, that he is God that this is the Son of God who has the power and the authority to forgive sins. But to also make us realize that if we truly want physical health, we must also strive for spiritual health. And he even goes far as to say, well, which is easier? Your sins are forgiven or rise, take up your pallet and walk. And he goes on to say, rise, take up your pallet, and walk. Because our physical well-being on this earth might be more desirable. We want to be well. We want to feel healthy. We want to feel strengthened to do our daily tasks. But Christ reminds us today that this is the easy part that to have physical health is something much more easy and something much more difficult is that to have spiritual health. It is much easier to follow a diet, especially now as we have been described by the church during Great Lent, to abstain from certain foods. It is much more easy to eat certain foods than it is to approach our enemy and to say, I'm sorry. Or to say, I forgive you. 
what benefits us in such a greater way then we can strive to increase our health not just physically by our diet and exercise but spiritually through the relations that we have with one another to say that I forgive the sins and those who have trespassed against me and to also come before the Lord in humility to receive his precious body and blood with the acknowledgement that we are the sinners that we are the greatest of sinners that we come forth knowing that Christ can not only cure us of our physical ailments but more importantly our spiritual ones that we can be cured through our vices that we might be boastful about our virtues but that Christ may heal us through our shortcomings this is the greater health that we must be concerned about especially in a period of great Lent as we prepare ourselves for Christ's passion on the cross and his third day resurrection it is a time to truly focus on our spiritual well-beings so that we may have the ambition and the courage and the perseverance as these four men who carried this man to be healed that we with our all of our strength and all of our might we may carry our souls to repentance that we may carry ourselves with the same faith knowing that this man this God Jesus of Nazareth has the ability to not only forgive and to cure our physical ailments but to forgive our sins so that we may truly seek him and yearn for him and travel from a distance to come to the daily services during this time during the weekdays of Great Lent through traffic or possibly to skip a meal and to be hungry not only for physical food but for spiritual well-being may we find the same perseverance this passion and commitment as these men who brought the paralytic to bring our souls for spiritual healing. Amen.